Gone are the days of programmers sitting in front of huge desktop PC surrounded by many large monitors. Of course, some still do, but these days anyone can learn to code fairly easily and needs only a laptop to get going. The advantage to basing your programming on a laptop over a desktop is that wherever you go, it goes. You can write code anytime, anywhere, with the best laptops for the job. If you're on the market for a new coding laptop, we got you covered. Whether you're looking for the budget option or the greatest one, we have an option for you. So let's get started. Sometimes you just want as much horsepower as you can possibly get inside a laptop. That's as true for programming as it is for gaming. When it comes to balancing raw performance with being portable and just good to use, the Razer Blade 14 ticks all the boxes. It set a new performance standard for 14-inch laptops when it launched, and to this day it's almost untouchable in its class, and no small part down to having the option for a ridiculously powerful RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU inside. The RTX 3080 Ti would normally only be found in much larger gaming laptops, but through wizardry and a little clever design, Razer managed to cram one inside a 14-inch Razer blade. It gets warm when pushed but not dangerously hot thanks to innovative cooling, and it's quite literally all the GPU power you could need in a laptop whether for professional purposes or smashing out some high-quality gaming when you're done for the day. The Blade 14 is also the first Razer laptop to use an AMD Ryzen processor, and as you might expect it goes for the top of the tree. Specifically, you get the 8-core, 16-thread Ryzen 9, paired with 16 gigs of RAM and a 1TB SSD. As far as 14-inch laptops go, it can't be beaten, and even the display is impressive with both a 1440p resolution and a 165Hz refresh rate, as well as a 1080p 104-4Hz panel available. All this power does mean that battery life takes a hit, but then, you would expect such a thing buying a laptop with this kind of GPU inside. This is the trade-off for having something absurdly powerful, perhaps if you're diving into the world of CUDA or machine learning. NVIDIA also offers its professional studio drivers in place of the gaming-focused GeForce drivers which might be more useful to you. And of course, if you go ahead and put Linux on one of these, you'll be able to take advantage of GPU pass-through to any Windows virtual machines you set up. Generally speaking, most programmers won't be looking for a tablet for their work, but then the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 is no ordinary tablet. The Surface Pro defined the 2-in-1 category and to this day continues to set the bar. The Surface Pro 8 is the biggest update in some years, bringing with it not only a revamped design but the kind of performance inside that once we could only dream of seeing in a device without a keyboard. Oh yes, the keyboard. You'll still need to buy one of those separately and it's still one of the biggest drawbacks to getting a Surface Pro 8. Windows 11 is hardly the best operating system for tablets and you're going to need a keyboard and a trackpad or mouse to use it to its fullest, especially if you're a programmer. But that minor rant out of the way, let's see why the Surface Pro 8 is the one to get if you're looking for a highly portable 2-in-1 machine. For starters, the display truly is the best ever on a Surface Pro. It's now larger at 13 inches, but still with that 3 to 2 aspect ratio it's perfect for code writing with its increased vertical space. It's also the first time a Surface Pro has had a 120Hz refresh rate, so everything is silky smooth. Once you see it you can't go back to a 60Hz panel. And despite being larger, the Surface Pro 8 retains the same footprint as its predecessors thanks to shrinking the side bezels so they're almost not even there. If all that isn't enough for you, it's brighter than previous Surface Pro displays and even supports Dolby Vision. Because it's not all about work. Inside is just as impressive. Microsoft managed to squeeze up to an Intel Core i7 inside the Surface Pro 8, which for a tablet is straight witchcraft. This quad-core processor is paired with up to 32 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of PCIe SSD storage, so everything about it is just fast. The onboard graphics are okay, with Intel Iris Xe in play, but Microsoft finally added Thunderbolt to the Surface Pro so this 13-inch tablet can sit hooked up to a dock or an eGPU and truly be your everything machine at home and on the road. Programming. On a Chromebook? Absolutely. Google's Chrome OS has come on leaps and bounds in recent years and if you've ever dismissed it just as a fancy browser that runs on cheap laptops, it's time to see what 2022 Chrome OS looks like. Yes, most Chromebooks are still affordable laptops, but that's also one element that makes them attractive, particularly to beginner programmers. You could spend a significant amount less on the best Chromebooks compared to a Windows laptop or a MacBook and still write all the same code. 
This is where the Acer Chromebook Spin 713 comes in. Chromebooks hit the market at a fantastic rate, but right now this is the one to go for. It's also a perfect example of everything making Chromebooks so attractive. It shows how far Chromebook hardware and design have come from the plastic fantastic cheap netbook style machines of old, while taking advantage of everything Chrome OS has to offer. With Android apps and pen support built in, the Spin 713 makes as good a laptop for casual use entertainment as it does for getting serious work done. Inside the Acer Chromebook Spin 713, you find an 11th Gen Intel Core i5 processor with Intel Iris Xe graphics, 8 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of PCIe SSD for storage. On a Windows laptop, this spec sheet would be easy to ignore, but Chrome OS handles its business much differently from other operating systems. Most storage and apps are web-based, but even so, you can still upgrade an SSD on a Chromebook, or in this case, use the micro SD card slot to add some cheap additional storage. You don't have to be too worried about only having 8 gigs of RAM, either, though consider turning off Android apps if you're not going to use them. You'll enjoy the extra resources. Dell's XPS machines are the firm's answer to Apple's MacBook Pro, so it's no surprise that the Dell XPS 15 is impressive. It looks fantastic with a robust aluminum body, and its keyboard is comfortable and fast, ideal for long days of typing. On the inside, the XPS is available with Intel Core i7 and Core i9 processors. Both are excellent. The Core i7 chip can easily tackle most mainstream programming situations, while the Core i9 part is well suited to running virtual machines in emulated environments too. It's easy enough to upgrade this machine with more memory and storage, and you even get a modest NVIDIA GPU for extra graphical grunt and content creation tools. And while the Dell XPS 15 is not cheap, prices start at over $2,000 for a notebook with a high-resolution screen, so it's more affordable than a MacBook. The XPS is available with three screens, two IPS models, and one OLED panel. For programming, we'd recommend the higher-resolution IPS or OLED displays, which are both excellent. They've got 16 to 10 aspect ratios, which deliver extra vertical space, and the slightly wayward color accuracy doesn't impact programming. Elsewhere, the XPS 15 has enough battery life to make it through your working day. And while it does have a couple of Thunderbolt ports and SD card slot, there's no HDMI output and no full-size USB connectivity. Professionals have long favored Apple's machines, and that remains true with the MacBook Pro 16. It ticks every box required for high-end programming. Apple's 10-core and 1-Pro processor is a powerhouse. Combine that with the 32 gigs of memory and the 16-core graphics chip, and you've got a machine that will handle any programming situation, from complex coding and compiling to running virtual machines. The battery easily lasts a full day, too. The Liquid Retina XDR is sensational. It's 3456 by 2234 native resolution, and 1000 nit brightness level means everything looks gorgeous, and you've got the width and on-screen space to spread work around. The keyboard is crisp and comfortable, so it's well-suited for all-day typing, and this machine has an SD card slot, three Thunderbolt ports, and MagSafe power connectivity. It looks superb, and it's got rock-solid build quality. This is the sort of laptop that will last for years, though, and it's an unbeatable programming machine. Did this video help you find what you were looking for? If so, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Have a great day!